That's not in context. You're not interpreting that right. You have to have godly sorrow. You have to feel sorry for your sin. You have to be broken to come to the foot of the cross. You have to hate your sin. Well, let's look at an example of someone who did that. Because there's just examples of people who did that. They felt bad for what they did. Oh, look at here. Let's talk about Judas. Matthew 27, verse 1. When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Then Judas, which betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, look what it says. Oh, that beautiful word, repented himself. And look, and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders. Dude, not only was this guy like felt bad for what he did, he turned from, he changed his actions. The silver that he took, he brought it back. He said, like, take your 30 pieces of silver. Saying, I have sinned. He's even acknowledging the fact that he sinned. I mean, we got all the elements right here. He feels bad. He's changing his course of action. He's saying, I have sinned and that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they say, what is that to us? See, that's to that. Now, here's a pretty clear example of someone who repented. Yet Judas Iscariot is a son of perdition and is burning, roasting in hell today. <laughs> Judas Iscariot is burning in the lowest hell. And you know what Judas Iscariot represents? All these wicked, damnable heretics who believe you got to do the same exact thing to get right with God. Isn't that interesting? is that all these wicked repent of your sins pastors out there who think you have to feel sorry for your sin, you have to change your course of action, you have to say all these things, you have to turn, they're following the example of Judas himself. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that ironic? They're not following the example of the apostles. They're following the example of a false apostle. Judas Iscariot. Because this is the only example you can point to of someone who felt bad for what they did. They changed their course of action. They said they were sinners. And yet they're still, he's roasting in hell today. That's right, 